They're the NFT cats that are currently blowing up at the moment. They're on a rocket and they're heading past the moon. They're heading to Mars. We're talking about the Mars Cat Voyage. <laughs> Real quick, if you could hit the like button, that'd really help me out with the YouTube algorithm. Also, I put chapters down below so you can fast forward to the sections that you want to help you navigate the video easier. Also, this is not financial advice, I'm not a financial planner. Please do your own research before jumping into the NFT space. Now, what I will say is that I am quite biased to this project because I've actually picked up one of these myself. So in this video up here, I kind of teach you how to look for what smart money's buying and then you can investigate and see if it's worth a purchase. And this is actually how I came across this. I was using this um, tactic to kind of go through, see what smart money was buying, saw it, love the art and jumped in. So anything that I do say, I am invested in Mars Cat's Voyage. Um, so please take that into consideration when you hear my thoughts around this project. Anyway, let's get into it. So on their website, um, this is what also got me is I really do like this art style. Um, it's, very, it's very detailed, it's very cool. I really like it. So scrolling down, we can kind of get an overview of the types of cats. Now this is a 10,000 profile picture project. Now the thing that I like about this project is it's not just changing the color of the jackets or a hat or something. The detail that goes into the different variations are quite good and the cats all look different. And that's why I decided to jump in because it looked quite good. So when it comes down to it, they were minted at 0.05 ETH. Now what they're actually gonna do here is they're gonna be airdropping spacesuits for the people that in the first 3000 that bought them so they can kind of upgrade their NFT. And then they're also gonna have merch, then they're doing liquidity pools. It says that they're gonna be colonizing Mars and then issuing Mars tokens. So that's another reason that I kinda of wanna hold on to it and kinda of see where it goes and see what they're gonna be doing with their Mars tokens. So having a look at the team here, we've got Drew, Leash, and Mike. Now down the bottom, they've got some FAQs, which are pretty standard about the drop and all of that. So let's jump into their OpenSea. And what we can see here is that you've got the 10,000 limit, 2,800 owners with a floor price of 0.23. Now jumping over onto their Twitter, what we can see here is they've got 7,600 followers. Uh, and then they are very active. So we can see a tweet just went out 24 minutes ago, kind of going, hey, they're up to number 36, which is nice. And they're kind of tweeting out and retweeting and really engaging with the community, which is nice. Over on their Discord, 10,400 people in their Discord. And in terms of their Discord, it's quite active and they're always putting out announcements, but that's pretty typical with a project. Anyway, let's jump into the good stuff and jump into the statistics. So Mars Cat's Voyage deployed 10 days ago. Now what we can see here is that this would have been the pre-sale and then here is the launch and then it just it's just been climbing up from here. If we have a look at the average price, so this was before the sale, this would have been the pre-sale, drop down and then this is where it's going and then from here, so we should really disregard this as a price and just kind of start here. So we can see here's the lowest price and the average price are very close together. So it shows that there were a few outliers with the max prices but the lowest price was very close to the average, which means that it's trading around this number predominantly. And then we can see that it's slowly going up and then it starts to climb up here, which is crazy. And then if we scroll down and have a look at the individual transactions, we can see here that the line, it's just kind of steadily climbing and the notable buys, you can see that they're littered throughout this buying timeline. In terms of the buys and transactions, we can see that peak here and then absolutely gone up. That was the public sale. And then from there, it's gone down. So what we can see here is that even though the volume has been low and the volume has been low here, there was a, a high volume day in the middle, the price has continued to go up, which is great to see. Now, one thing to note, when the price is going up and the volume is dropping, in traditional markets, this can be very scary because it may mean that a drop is coming soon. But what's different about a non-fungible token as opposed to a fungible token is that you can't actually sell this without there being a buyer. And if the community is holding back the supply by not actually listing what they want or listing too high, then it should keep the price high. That's also good to note and take away because the way that I think about NFTs, it's more like real estate with um, supply and demand curves and ratios as opposed to a volume and price when you come to traditional money markets. Now having a look at the top balances, we can see here that the top guy 218, then we get 180, 
138, then we kind of start dropping down in the 80s and the 50s. So it shows that the top buy is holding a lot and there is a steep curve and a steep drop off, which isn't too good, which does look bad from the outside because it means that if this person was to dump onto the market, it could really crush the price floor. But in saying that each project's different and what you can see here is that he originally had 474 and then he's offloaded 256 and he's got 218. So you can see that even though he did have a lot, he has sold a lot, which means that he could be possibly holding onto these for the longer term, but we don't know the motivations of the top balances. If we have a look at the holders, we can see that the unique addresses, it just keeps climbing, which is really, really great to see. So it is nice to see, but I'd like that trend to continue with more unique addresses. If we have a look at the percentage of people only holding one of the NFTs, we can see here 23, gone up, gone down, and then gone back up. And we're now sitting at 45%. So that shows that 45% of the holders just hold one. It would be nicer to get this up a little bit higher, but with some of those larger top balances holding um, big sums, that will be a little bit difficult. Now jumping into the fun one, the profit leaderboard. Now we can see here the top profit 16. Then we've got six, three, three, two, one. Now what I'm finding interesting here is that in terms of profits, it's kind of the top balances made 200%. Then we've got um, sort of 400% here. We've got 600% here. We're not seeing multiple thousands. We're not seeing 10,000, 12,000, 15,000 percent gains. Now this makes me feel like there's a little bit more gas in the tank in terms of when people might be taking profits and how they'll kind of take them. Or it could also mean that people are taking a two or 300% profit, but they're keeping the rest and holding the rest um, longer term because they've made that initial investment and they see this becoming somewhat of a blue chip moving into the future. This is something that we're just gonna have to kind of roll with and play out and see where it goes because it is very new and it's still in its infancy, um, this particular collectible in terms of where it can actually go. But that is my interpretation of this. We've still got more left in the tank to go. Um, but then on the flip side, there could be people that are just sort of riding and playing with house money. Now this next chart's a bit of a strange one. It's the top balances over time. Now what we can see is that the top balance has decreased until we kind of got to the public sale. And now that they're holding strong. And then we can also see here that when people have jumped in, it's kind of gone up. But overall, apart from this one main buyer, the everyone else has kind of bought in more and held and it doesn't look like they're selling. So that's playing into the theory that there's a lot more ahead for this project and they're holding on to see where it goes. And one thing I'd like to point out is that this second line here, JonathanLong.eth. If you actually go over and check him out on Twitter, you can see that he's gone full cat and he's changed his profile picture to the Mars cat, which is nice to see. It shows that he's fully into this project, absolutely loves it and he's going hard. And it also means that he may be influencing other people in terms of his uh, fondness for this project. And that can also kind of bring more people into the project, which can then build up that base. And then like we saw at the start, all it takes is a few people to kind of chip away and then that floor will just start rising quite fast. Now looking at the top five buying addresses, we can see where they have purchased their cats. So we can see that we're kind of grouping around this 0.2 to under the 0.4 mark. So in my mind, where I play this is they're not gonna sell until they're in profit zone. And if they're averaging buying out at around 0.3 to 0.4, we can then see that we're gonna to need to get to 0 0.6, 0 0.7. You would have to jump in and do a deep dive on each of these individual buyers and see where they were taking their profits. And this would take a lot of time, but you could then start to work out what their strategy is. And if they usually three, four, five exit, you can look at their entry point, understand where the exit point possibly be, drop it down maybe sort of 15, 20%, and then you could kind of snipe them out before they hit where they wanna be taking their profits. Now that's just speculation, that's just my thought, but just having a look at the straight data, they're not gonna be buying into a 0.3 and then selling at 0.4. I believe they're gonna at least want to kind of get to a 0 0.6, 0 0.7 to then make it worth it. And then if we have a look at the recent transactions, what we can see here is that 11 minutes go, 16 minutes go. So all of these have, are in the minutes and we're not getting into the hours. So we can see that there is a lot of action happening and this is moving very fast. And that's what's contributing to this actually kind of charting and getting some movement on the OpenSea platform, which is just gonna bring more awareness, which is gonna get people searching, and then that's where this is kind of gonna go. So overall, that's my analysis on Mars Cat's Voyage. I'm heavily in on this project. I love it, I think it's good. I'm not gonna be selling mine because I wanna see where this goes, and I really like the artwork that 
they've actually developed and the community that's around it is quite good. Now, like I said at the start of the video, I have actually brought into the project, that's my bad boy right there. So please consider that when you're making your analysis and your judgment of the video of this video, because I don't want you to kind of take what I'm saying because I'm not completely unbiased and that's very unfair on the viewer you because I don't wanna be seen as kind of shilling and pumping up a project. I want you to look at the data that I've shown you and you to analyze that data yourself to make educated decisions that you would like to make. You should be doing all your own research when you're actually jumping into the NFT space because it's like that. And I find that disclosing what I have bought does help you make an educated decision so you're not swayed by the amount of views, the amount of likes, and the comments that will be in this video. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. If you found value in this video, please consider subscribing. Also, if there are any projects that you'd like me to check out, drop them in the comments below and I'll kind of check them out because that's how I'm actually finding out interesting projects and kind of following them up because the projects that you want me to check out are the projects that you want to watch and you kind of want to be educated on. And that's the way that we together can improve this space and make better buying decisions. Anyway, until next time, that's your boy NFT Nate out.